Hey there, 3D design enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Today we continue diving into the world of on-shape curves and how you can use them to create stunning 3D models. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest tips and tutorials. Let's get started. OnShape is a powerful cloud-based CAD platform that allows you to create and edit 3D models with ease. One of the essential tools in OnShape is the ability to create curves. Curves are the building blocks of many complex shapes and can be used to create smooth, organic forms in your designs. In this video, we'll use the bridging curve command. So those are the curve commands and there is the bridging curve. So when we look at that bracelet, we might wonder how to start this type of design. On which plane should we begin with what type of commands? Um, you see, I got a sweep here. For a sweep, we need a sweep path. And that path is this curve. So how do we cr create something like that? I will demonstrate one workflow mixing surface commands and curves finalizing with that sweep. Okay, so I'm in an empty part studio and start a sketch on the front plane. Press N to have a normal view of that to hide those sketch planes. S for my shortcuts. Take that line here, press Q to make that as a construction geometry. S again for a circle. Position that over here. D for dimensioning that with 22. H to position that horizontally here and give that a distance of 88. Exit that sketch, go into Revolve, Surface, New, take that edge, take that axis, make that a symmetric um, revolve with 18 degrees. All right? There we get our first body, a surface body. I'll keep that sketch one visible and start a new sketch on the top plane. That'll be a circle beginning here in the origin and connecting to that center point. I continue with the split command and split that face with that circle. I hide that for a moment. Let's have a look at that. All right, so we got this edge here and that one. And now it's time to define our bridging curve. So you find the curve commands over here and we'll take this one, the bridging curve. So this allows me to define a um, curve by vertices and initial and final um, conditions. Let's have a look. I start at that vertex and take this edge as a tangent and um, the end position will be here Again, match tangent. You can choose other types to define it, but we'll take match tangent for this example. And I'll take that one. All right, so we get this um, curve going out here, going up, and going back here. We can uh, change um, the, the, the initial and final direction with those arrows. I'll go over here, press that, because I want to go in that direction. And here, I want to go back into that direction. So let's have a look at that here. 
this is the type of curve I want. I accept that. Here's that curve. I'll hide the surface. Yeah. All right, now let's define a plane to mirror that curve, to have one um, no, part which we will um, arrange with a circular pattern to form the sweep path for our bracelet. I will um, show that surface, show sketch number one, and define a plane by three points here. You have other options to define a plane. I'll take that one. I'll take that vertex, that one, and our origin. There it is. I accept that. And I will hide that surface for a moment and maybe sketch one. And now mirror a feature, because our curve is a feature, with that mirror plane. Yeah. Hide that plane. And now we will just simply um, rotate those two curves with a circular pattern of features. Feature one, feature two, axis is that one. And so we had um, 36 degrees covered. So let's make that 10. Accept that. Hide sketch one. So there we have that curve. Now let's combine those 20 curves into one with a composite curve. I'll window select that. Accept that. And let's have a look at our curves folder. Pull that up here. And let's select those and just um, hide all curves. Okay, let's hide all curves and that let's show that curve 21. All right. Now let's define a plane again with a curve point. Let's take that one, for example, and that curve, accept that, and start a sketch on that plane, a circle. Let's um, give that a diameter of 12 millimeters. Press I to make that coincident. Those two, accept that. Hide that plane we were sketching on and go into the sweep command, a solid sweep this time. Take that region and um, take that as our sweep path. There we have our bracelet. And if you want to give that bracelet some other appearance, can go into uh, the part and pick maybe that kind of gold color. And that's it for our bracelet, um, which we create with a um, bridging curve, with a split command, and a sweep. Thanks for joining me, and I see you in the next video.